let's see the next question question number 17 what is the maximum number of electrons that can be associated with the following set of quantum numbers n is equal to 3 l is equal to 1 and m is equal to minus 1 the three quantum number principal azimuthal and magnetic quantum number represents an orbital and any orbital can accommodate maximum of two electron so your answer should be three answer is third option only two electrons can have same set of principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number the next question is question number 18 which of the following lanthanoid ions is diamagnetic atomic numbers are given cerium 58 smartium 62 europium 63 and yttrium 70 now in order to find out diamagnetic nature we know that all electrons should be pair so first of all we have to write the electronic configuration of atom and then electronic configuration of ion in the given options yttrium whose atomic number is 70 it is having electronic configuration 4f14 6s2 and if it is converted into yttrium cation the two electrons are lost from the 6s orbital there is zero electron in the s orbital but s orbital is having 14 electron so by the configuration we can see all the electrons are paired in yttrium to positive ion so correct answer is third option answer is third option next question is question number 19 Now let's see the question number 19. 6.02 into 10 raised to power 20 molecules of urea are present in 100 milliliter of its solution. The concentration of solution is. Here concentration it means molarity. And molarity is number of moles of solute per liter of the solution. Now in this question number of moles of urea is given. 6 into 10 raised to power 20 molecule 1 mole that is 6 into 10 raised to power 23 molecule so in this way we can calculate number of moles of urea volume is given 100 milliliter divide it by 1000 to convert it into the liter so that is 0.1 liter it means molarity of the solution this is 6 into 10 raised to power 20 by 6 into 10 raised to power 23 volume of the solution is given 0.1 liter if we solve this the answer is coming 0 0.01 molar now see the option the first option is 0 0.01 molar so this is the correct option it means answer of this question will be option 1. The next question is question number 20. Based on equation E is equal to minus 2.178 into 10 raised to power minus 18 joules z square by n square. Certain conclusions are written. Which of them is not correct? So here we have to find out which statement is incorrect statement. The first option is larger the value of n, the larger is the orbit radii. That is true because radii is directly proportional to n square. Second statement, equation can be used to calculate the change in energy when the electron changes orbit. This option is also true option because using this equation we can calculate the energy of electron in initial orbit and in final orbit. The third statement is for n is equal to 1 the electron has more negative energy than it does for n is equal to 6 that is correct 
which means that the electron is more loosely bound in the smallest orbit. Here the statement is incorrect statement. If electron is present in the lower orbit, it is more strongly bound to the nucleus compared to the electron which is present in the higher orbit. So this statement is incorrect statement. So this should be the answer of the question. The fourth statement is the negative sign in equation simply means that energy of electron bound to the nucleus is lower than it would be if the electrons were at infinite distance from the nucleus. This statement is correct statement because when electron is present at infinity there is no attraction, no repulsion so energy of electron is zero. But when an electron enters into the atom there is electrostatic force of attraction attraction due to which its energy decreases. It means the correct answer is option number 3. So answer is option number 3. The next question is question number 21. 